Oh well, yeah. What I want to show you right now is how to make a rubric. Uh, so when you mark your students' internals, it makes it quite simple to use. So your rubric will sit in there. It will look like this. So you've got your achieved merit. Uh, sorry, excellence, merit, achieved, and not achieved. You've got your criteria, and you need to weight the top ones as it's holistic marking with um, that being your 100% and these being zero. I'm going to show you how to make this. You can download these and give them to other teachers and other people in your department that they can simply upload the rubrics um, for everybody to use. Very easy, works pretty well. I'll um, pause this video and I'll show you what it looks like in a student's view right now. And then you can, um, I'll show you how to make one. So once we've got our um, assignments and they've been handed in and we've clicked on them, you'll see that you've got all your kids and we need to go and find the rubric. And all you do is you click on here and the rubric sits over here with Internetin. So you'll see here's a student's assignment right there. He's got his statement of authentication. He's got his Turnitin similarity report. He's got his mark down there, two out of four being achieved. And he's got his marking rubric. So you read the student's work and you need to open up this rubric. You can either open it up like this and there's the criteria. And when you select one of these, it changes the points. Um, over here, so if I select that, it's going to become three out of four. I don't want to do that because he got an achieved. If I want to get onto the next criteria, I can click this little arrow. Here's the purpose, uh, method, and so on. You can do it as a drop down as well if you want to. And then once you've finished giving him uh, his mark there, you can give feedback at the bottom and um, you click done. His mark will then be put over here. If you want to see the rubric as a as a large rubric, you click on this little arrow here, and it will open up the rubric in a much bigger area like that, um, so that you can um, mark on it. It's exactly the same. If I change this to a three, it's going to change his mark to a three everywhere. So just be aware of that, and you just click done, and then it's done. Then what I need to do is I can select the next student. And it will open up his, and here's the next rubric. You got a mirror. If I want to open up the rubric, I can click on it like that, and mark like that, or I can click on the arrow and open up the large rubric. That's how to do it. Pretty, pretty easy. So let me show you how to set one of these up. Um, it makes marking much quicker. Um, you've got your turn it in similarity report, you've got the student stuff there, and you've got the rubric, and you can enter feedback all in one place super easy so let me show you how to set one of these up so to set one of these up we're in our assignment tab and we need to create an assignment so i click on create and i'm going to create an assignment i sent out a video on how to create assignments so i'm not going to go through that again what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through uh, the rubric so i'm just going to call this rubric um, and to make a rubric i want to give it four points and I want to add a rubric, all right? And you can either make a new rubric or you can add an existing rubric that you already have set up. I'm just gonna choose an existing one um, so I can show you what it looks like when you make it. So here's an existing one, I'm gonna click next. So you give it a title, you can give it a description, you want to turn the points on, so you click yes, because the computer needs numbers, that's how it works. You can call this excellent or excellence. Uh, four, three, two, and one. That's where it's getting its marks from. And these are basically out of the achievement standard because this is what the student has to do for, to get an achieved, a merit, or an excellence. And that's the criteria. That is holistic marking. So you make this first criteria out of 100%. These are just your descriptors, so my, my purpose, here's my uh, excellence, merit, achieved, and then if it's not achieved, it's not sufficient. Um, and then I've got my method, data, and all those sort of things, and justification. So those are my descriptors, but here is my criteria and my outcome, so I need to make sure that this is weighted to 100%. Once you've finished copying and pasting those in, or doing however you want to do it, I personally put them in an Excel spreadsheet first and then cut and paste them in. It's just how I do it. doesn't make it right or wrong. And then you click Attach. After you click Attach, it attaches the rubric to your achievement standard. 
once again make sure you turn turn it in on and your rubric will be there ready to go my suggestion is that you do a practice one of these first before you do it with the real thing um, very easy to use makes it simple when it comes to marking um, flick me an email if you've got any questions